everyone. Welcome to Rika's Reading Room. Today, I'm going to read a book about an amazing scientist. Enjoy. The astronaut was a song for the stars. The story of Dr. Ellen Ochoa, written by Julia Finley Mosca, illustrated by Danielle Royale. If you have a mission, a dream to explore, but no one like you has achieved it before, listen up to this tale of one star engineer, Dr. Ellen Ochoa, a space pioneer. In the city, Los Angeles, one fateful day, a baby was born in the spring month of May. This Ellen, you'll find, was no regular girl. Yes, her future was bright, even out of this world. A grandchild of immigrants, Ellen was tough. All her Mexican relatives did had it rough. Her father would tell her, "When I was in school, people thought that Latinos would dirty the pool. We could swim in the water." But nice as that seemed, we were only allowed right before it was cleaned. That racism hurt. It was hateful and wrong, and it taught him his children would need to be strong. Her mother agreed, and she made it quite clear: If you want to succeed, don't stop learning, my dear. That was easy for Ellen, so smart and astute, and the thing she loved most. Playing classical flute, I'll be a musician. She thought as she grew, an orchestra flutist. Hey, that's what I'll do. Then in college, she started to think about space. But spacemen were men, mostly white was the case. Unfair as that was, Ellen made up her mind. I can study the shuttles and how they're designed. That's called engineering," her teacher explained. "Forget it. That field is for boys," he proclaimed. Well, never you fear. Ellen got that degree, and she saw Sally Ride go to space on TV, the first astronaut woman, and that's when she knew, if Sally can do it, then I'll do it too. Alas, as you know, life can sometimes be tricky. The path to that dream, let's just say it got sticky. She tried out for space school, and what came of that? The elite NASA program rejected her flat. Did she stick with her goal? Oh, you bet. She had brains. She learned more about rockets and piloting planes. She invented three systems, which used beams of light, helped computers to see things that eyes couldn't quite. And boom! It was time. NASA finally took notice. "You're in," he declared. "We admire your focus." The training was hard. No rest or recovery. At last, it paid off. Ellen boarded Discovery. Ten, nine, eight. The countdown began. She held on with her might. Then the girl from the city of angels took flight. Up, up, and away. And up higher they flew. They shot to the sky in the blink of an eye, and they orbited Earth. Green and blue. Now, guess what she did? Up so far, far away, Ellen took out a flute, and she started to play. But in space, people float, so she strapped down her feet, or she'd go for a loop with each tweedledy tweet. When she finished her tune, she considered existence, our planet. So tiny, from such a great distance, though very few humans had been in this place, she'd done it. 
the world's first Latina in space. If you're thinking that's awesome, you're right. It was sweet. All those years of hard work helped her conquer this feat, and because of her skills, NASA needed her more. One mission is stellar, but Ellen did four. See, the tools that she managed were pretty profound, like an arm that helps astronauts spacewalk around. She studied the sun, its effect on us here, the climate, and harm to our Earth's atmosphere. This research, of course, brought her so much respect that the Johnson Space Center said, "Ellen, direct." She accepted and set. One more record to boot. First director with Latin American roots. Today here on Earth, Ellen has a new mission: to bring all of NASA's great deeds recognition. She still plays the flute, and one note she'll impart: there's a place in this world for both science and art. Yes. All of this wisdom and talent, not small, has won her awards. But one tribute beats all. There are schools with her name, the best honor, indeed, since a good education helped Ellen succeed. So, if life knocks you down, lift your eyes to the sky. Just dust off your wings, get back up. You can fly with persistence and knowledge. You'll surely go far. Keep your head up, like Ellen, and shoot for the stars. Dear readers, always persevere and take things one step at a time. Sometimes it can be daunting to think about going after a big goal, but if you break it down step by step, you'll often find that it's a lot more doable. Doctor Ellen Ochoa. The end. Thanks so much for listening to my reading. I hope you liked it. Please hit the subscribe button and have an awesome day.